Okay, I'm just going to do a very quick rundown on this. To do the fuel filter on this after having it apart and back together for other things like the glow plug relay. Um, yeah, I'm going to say pull the air filter. Um, pull these two bolts here. Undo that harness. Pull the rubber thing out of the back. Slide that. Slide this out of the way. Unscrew and lift. You may have to pull this off. And you may have to pull this uh, alternator off, but I don't think you will actually. Looking at it after having it apart, I think that's all you'd have to do. Hello everyone, welcome to my video today, or in this video, we are going to be doing some motor work on the 99E450 with a 7.3 Power Stroke Ambulance. And for the reason I'm recording this is whenever I started doing the research on this project, I could not find any information on how you access or, you know, where you go for the van. I have a book. It's not really helpful. It is a little bit, but not really. And uh, I figured I'd make a video to share with you in case anyone else out there has a Campulance, an Ambulance, or a E450 or E350 with a 7.3 Power Stroke van front. So, come along, enjoy, have fun, and... Uh, You'll be going through this journey with me together. This is my first time. So, all right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get going. Okay, first thing you'll want to do is disconnect your batteries. Uh, I am still hooked up right now. As you can see, there's some light going on in there. But you'll want to disconnect your battery. A little bit different from a regular van. I have no battery up here. It's all in the back. I am going to have to do some work in the future, but not in this video. So, first thing we're going to do is take these bolts off here and the bolts off here and we'll pull off the whole air intake housing and then we're going to take this off. So let's get that going too. Well, you all are going to have to forgive me. I had a couple of clips go missing so we're going to just going to talk through this. So after you remove the air cleaner, go ahead and pull off the belt. Uh, there's a little quarter inch belt tensioner. You just get a breakover bar, bar, twist it to the right or left, and lift the belt off. Once you have that off, you're going to go ahead and remove your alternator on the left hand side or whatever device is there. Match. Alright, so this is not the glow plug relay I found out. I thought it was, but I had to go in there and do some research. The one farther back here, right there, is a glow plug relay. I wonder why I was having trouble finding a matching part. Apparently on the 99th or late or early, I can't even tell for sure, but I'll, I'll look it up and tell you that. On the, one of the early ones, this is a 99 and it's right at the split. And apparently they have an air intake heater and a glow plug relay. So this front one's air intake heater and the far back one is the glow plug relay. So, you guys are messing with the van and you get in here and you're confused like I was. And I was kind of frustrated because I spent forever getting that one all off to find out that there's another one back there. And I've been really annoyed if I replace that and still have the same problem. So I'm going to pull the one in the far back off place it. I guess I'm going to go up there and see if I can get this one for the air intake heater. I'll have to go down to a auto store to see if they have it. If not, I'll have to put it back together on the way back together, which I hate leaving stuff apart for a long time. But we're going to get that one back. That's annoying. Get to know though. It'll take a while to find it on the internet. Like 30 minutes to find that. But it's like that with all new vehicles. you got to work and find stuff. Right. We, got them. we got them both in there. We got the relay, the other relay in there. It got brighter today and the weather got warmer. And I started making some headway, so my grouchiness is gone for a little while. I got the uh, air intake heater and the uh, glow plug relays right behind it. I tested this one, it tests okay. So I'm going to leave it in there. The other one I went ahead and replaced because I had it. And so probably whenever I get this together and replace the oil pump, I probably won't know which one actually fixed it. Which is fine. I just need to know it all start. So this part's done. It looks clean down in there. So I'm pretty sure that 
that oil either is from someone filling the engine oil which they shouldn't have been filling because the engine oil is on the side or this got a bad gasket there which is not that bad we'll find out later if it's the glue plugs and they still be in here doing glue plug work I don't really want to tear apart that far it looks like a complete and total pain in the butt so we hope this fixes it one, I got a crack right here on this sensor, which I'm going to fix. I'm going to try to pull this back out of the way and see if I can maybe get the oil filter or fuel filter out. I don't know. There's something here in the way. I might just go ahead and see if I can do that real quick. This this I'll have to get a wrench on there. See, I'll have to get this pulled off too. This sensor on the high pressure oil pump. Which looks like it needs some tape around it because it has some cracks in the wire. Hopefully that's all. And we'll go with that and then we'll pull the uh, radiator and fan and water pump and oil pump. And put that all together and hopefully we'll have it done today. I don't know. We'll see. Alright. So I get the fuel filter off but because... Ah! Yeah, what did I just drop on my toe? Oh, the socket, of course. The socket jumped off and hit me on the toe. Great. Okay, anyhow. The resonator box here is getting in the way. I can't lift this up and out because there's one side thing on it. And if I drop it back in, it splashes more fuel out. Or you're in the system, hopefully not. Anyhow, um... I'm going to try to take that off and see if I can slide it out of the way and get the air filter off. Um, I, or not air filter, but the uh, fuel filter out. I'd like to replace it while I'm here and have this all above in an engine area kind of done. Alright, so the later models has this resonator on it. I got it off by loosening up this one piece here and there's a way back in here there's a piece coming up from it but I thought it was screwed on but this has a rubber connection on it that you can shove into the back of it there's no way for me to really show it to you let me see if I can see that see that bar right there I'll see if I can enhance it there's a little rubber piece on top of it I'm trying to it down to the back cover but um I think you just pop that off that allows the resonator to pull back which if you take this bracket off here it should allow me to pull out the fuel filter finally oh god i hope so it's still tight oh my gosh i'm gonna pull this off here too another valve There we go. We're out. Oh my gosh, that was way too much work to get that out. How's the fuel look? Eh, didn't look too bad. So this actually, yeah, I think it needed to be replaced. It looks pretty nasty compared to the other one. The new one right there. The old one right here. So that was a venture. At least this is, I'll have this done. I'll have to do the ones inside the tank soon, too. But, uh, yeah, that's my fuel filter. Yay! That's completely done. New fuel filter here. Have to wet this down a little bit with some of this old fuel. That'll help it. I didn't get too much air in the system, but it should self bleed, I think. So. I was afraid I was going to have to disconnect my whole air system, but there's a little baffle there, and this supposedly is part of helping it maintain its efficiency. I'm very tempted to cover it up, but now that I know that that has a rubber on the back of it that you can pull off and shove in there, I think it'll be fine. It won't be as complicated as I thought it was. So, yeah. Let's get your fill filter out. You can pull off your the belt easy enough but you really want to have this out this off so you can move it over this little thing here and your resonator off and it has a little rubber on it and it's just a hose clamp so i think that will be easy and quick let's shove the new one back in there and 
Yeah. That one needs a little fuel on it too. Let's touch it. I'm just to shove this back in here. Oh my gosh, it's an all day mechanic thing, but hey, at least it's done. There we go. It's twisting on. Very good. We want it to twist on. We'll tighten it down. We'll hook up the resonator back up. Shove the little rubber thing back in the hole. Found my oil leak, I think. I think it's my breather tube. I think it's leaking a little bit around the breather tube. And another vacuum line broke on me, so I'm going to find my vacuum lines. And run me a new vacuum line from here to the back. Because that's one of the vacuum lines that broke on me. And it's probably part of the vacuum lines that's not allowing my air conditioner to activate. Kind of like this other one up here didn't allow it to activate, so... And it might be that line right there running back, so... We'll get the air conditioner in the back working too. Um, okay, I'm just going to do a very quick rundown on this. To do the fuel filter on this after having it apart and back together for other things like the glow plug relay. Um, yeah, I'm going to say pull the air filter. Um, pull these two bolts here. Undo that harness. Pull the rubber thing out of the back. Slide that. Slide this out of the way. Unscrew and lift. You may have to pull this off, and you may have to pull this uh, alternator off, but I don't think you will actually. Looking at it after having it apart, I think that's all you'd have to do. So, anyhow, new air filters in, or fuel filter, air filters back together. I got some tape around this because there's a little bad piece there. Now I'm going to move on down and mess with all this fuel pump, or fuel, not fuel pump water pump and oil, low pressure oil pump for right now and then we'll come back and mess with the high pressure later on at a future date. So I'm going to continue pointing that off. Oh that was a jaw. But now we know.